hello there. I'm here to tell you a story tonight. A story of a pretend castle at Castle Joy. Once upon a time at Castle Joy, the baker, on a cold, snowy night, wanted something to warm his guests up. Something traditional for him to make. So he decided to make the traditional candied apples or baked apples. These are warm. They can be served warm with a dip of ice cream on them. So he got all his ingredients together, the flour, the butter, the cream. He peeled and cored the apples. He wrapped them in the pastry dough. And this is what the baker did after that. He is just about ready to put them in the oven. So the baker is about to put the candied apples in the oven. Enjoy! I'll see you at the end of the story. Thank you. Apple dumpling or baked apples. What we're going to do here, we have our dumplings already. We have them apples cored and um, wrapped in a short pastry dough, which is just um, a little bit of butter, some shortening, flour, uh, a couple teaspoons of sugar, and a little bit of cream in it, too. That's what our dough is made of. Nice, aren't they? I'm just finishing them off here. I will show you what I'm going to do. This is an apple syrup. We have apple juice, sugar, nutmeg, cinnamon, and ginger, and a little bit of ginger ale to sweeten it up a bit. What we're going to do is take our pastry brush and brush them down with it. We're going to make them. These are also called candied apples. They have the short crust pastry, and they turn out. If we put this syrup on it, it's going to make them look a candy crust almost. I'll show you something else we do too. So we have this. And just to get a little syrup in the pan and get it going so we can bake it, we're going to pour some out of there. Pour some in a little notch we have. I don't know if you did this with your candied apples or your baked apples, your apple dumplings, but we always did this. These are little candied cherries. I've been doing this since I was a kid. A little candied cherry on there. Give it some extra flavor. Actually, wait a second. I'm going to pour some of the juice over it too. I want to make it really nice and cherry candy. Gives it a new twist. A new twist on an old favorite. That's good. A little cherry candy. Up there. Candy. I like the name Candy, don't you? Angel Candy's a nice girl. <laughs> we know her here. Then I'm just going to sprinkle a little sugar over it. Granulated sugar. And then a little bit of nutmeg again, and a little bit of cinnamon. And they are ready to be baked, our apple dumplings, our candied apples. Um, so we'll continue with this fairy tale story. I'm going to put them in the oven. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll bring them out and we'll plate them for you. So, have a good time while these are baking and we'll be back with to finish our story up in just a little bit okay thank you be good be happy 